A few years ago, before TikTok had everyone obsessed over filters and makeup trends, YouTube was the biggest social media platform out there. And just like how we see everyday strangers being shot into fame for doing dances at home, there have been countless celebrities brought out of YouTube. And with all of the potential for a massive career to be born, comes people who will do the absolute most for attention, hoping to make themselves the talking point of the world. No no matter how much they have to lie and cheat their way there. And in this video, we are going to be talking about the biggest and most mysterious fraud on the internet, Marina Joyce. Marina Joyce was born on the 1st of February, 1997, making her 25 years old at the time this video was made. She started her YouTube channel all the way back in 2010, in the era when channels like Fred and Smosh were dominating the entire platform. And on her channel, she would post makeup tutorials, how-to videos, Q&A videos, and even advertisements and recommendations, describing herself as the sacred cat moon princess of love. Although Marina would post pretty consistently on her channel, her channel did not grow as fast as she probably would have liked, and she was relatively unknown in the bigger picture of the YouTube world. However, in 2016, she would shock the world, making headlines in every consumable piece of media there was, as her fans started to speculate that some horrifying things were happening. The first flag that people saw was in Marina's personality. She was usually perky and upbeat in her mannerisms and body language. However, she all of a sudden started to seem extremely zoned out, with a lot of awkward pauses in her speech and staring off into the distance for no apparent reason in a lot of her videos. But this was the lightest of all the signals, as the more Marina posted, the more things were spotted for fans to be concerned about. The next is that there was supposedly a gun in the back of one of her makeup tutorials. And in another upload, you could faintly hear Marina whispering, help me, in the first couple of seconds in the video. There were also a lot of mysterious bruises spotted all over Marina's body, which led people to believe that she may be experiencing a at her own home. It was also assumed that Marina might have been going through substance issues, which would explain her spacey demeanor. At this point, word had spread about her channel, and the hashtag SaveMarinaJoyce trended all over Twitter. During this period of time, Marina's subscriber count went up faster than a rocket, and within a couple of weeks, she went from having a pretty small following of a few thousand followers to over two million subscribers in total. It was literally crazy. No one had ever seen a channel go so viral so quickly, and everyone rushed to Marina's channel to look for whatever potential hints and signals would be hidden in her videos. Fans thought that Marina had been kidnapped in her own home and was forced to make videos to make money for her kidnapper. People even went as far as to speculate that Marina was in some sort of trap set up by the group Exis. It got so extreme and her channel became one of the most frequently searched on YouTube at the time that all of this was going on. The situation then took another crazy turn when her viewers decided to get the police involved with Marina's case. Fans contacted the police services in Enfield, which is the part of London that Marina was living in. They explained the YouTube channel to the police and all of the bizarre red flags and asked them to do a wellness check on Marina, just to ensure that she would be okay. The police cooperated and visited Marina's home. They checked over the scene and then made a tweet announcing that Marina was safe, saying, Officers have visited YouTube user Marina Joyce. She is safe and well. Marina also made a tweet at this point saying, I'm totally fine, you guys. I am feeling so good today, and it's actually so heartwarming to see so many people care about me. The confirmation that what fans had been speculating wasn't true all along was just as if not more of a shock than seeing all of the initial red flags that Marina had been presenting. Thousands of people tweeted and commenced, demanding some sort of explanation for all of the mysterious and sometimes disturbing stuff. So Marina had no choice but to comply. 
In a YouTube video, she went through everything in her videos that had been assumed as cries for help. Firstly, saying that the video where fans thought they could hear her whispering, help me, was actually her mom, Cheryl Joyce. She said that Cheryl had been operating the camera and was filming Marina for her channel, but was getting confused, so asked for Marina's assistance. This wasn't the only way that Marina's mom was used in her reasoning. She also explained that in a clip where Marina seems to stare off into the distance and start weirdly twirling around was also actually just her looking at her mom who was instructing Marina on what to do. In another interview with The Guardian, Marina and Cheryl further explained everything. From the bars over the windows in Marina's house being to stop burglars, not being there in order to trap Marina, and the bruises on her arms were not actually the result of any abuse. Instead, Marina had just had a bad fall which caused the injuries. The reaction to the case of Marina Joyce was a very scattered one. A lot of people were happy to see the situation resolved. However, despite the police even being involved, they still thought that Marina remained in a dangerous environment. But this group of people slowly started to lose their interest in her altogether. On the other side of the coin, a lot of people started to attack Marina on social media, accusing her of calculating and faking the entire situation for clout. They argued that Marina didn't know how to grow her channel in a typical way, so she resorted to lying and leading fans to think she was being kidnapped. They attacked Marina, saying that it was extremely cruel to lie about being a as it made it look like genuine victims of these types of crimes could also be doing everything for attention. And Marina's actions were making it harder for these victims to be believed. The controversy did not end there though. In 2019, three years after the internet first blew up over Marina, she was reported to have gone missing from her home for 10 days. She was reported missing on August 7th with reports saying she was last seen on July 31st. Once again, hashtag Save Marina Joyce was having its sequel and an online manhunt was set up by Marina's fans to make sure that she was okay. After getting involved once again, the Enfield police tweeted telling everyone that Marina was safe and her boyfriend also made a post to announce Marina's well-being. In the post, he says, this is a temporary to send a message to everyone that is worried about Marina. Everything is being dealt with in a professional manner. Please don't worry about her as she is safe and well. Also, everyone who thinks I'm acting suspiciously is only misinformed and doesn't know me at all. Marina then echoed this, tweeting about her status of well-being, where she enlightened her fans in a post reading, I never went missing in the first place. Also, Brandon has been so loyal throughout all of this, so don't trust anybody but him when somebody says something because he's the only one who knows everything and is my closest and protects me more than any person out there. So according to Marina, this whole revival of her controversy had all been one big misunderstanding, but it still leaves a lot of people to believe that she has always been okay and that everything about her was an act to get views and subscribers. Currently, Marina still posts videos fairly frequently. However, her view count is nowhere near where it was four or five years ago when she was the name on everyone's lips. If this theory of Marina being a calculated character pretending to be in a disturbing environment is all true, it would make her one of the biggest frauds in internet history. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments.